Today is our darkest day, the shortest of the year. We've got just seven hours and 46 minutes from sunrise to sunset. And we're gonna ride as far as humanly possible. It's tempting, isn't it, to hide away on these darkest months, but not us. Who's us, you may ask? Well, if there's anyone that knows anything about putting their mind to challenging conditions and really, well, knows anything about massive endurance rides, it's my friend and partner in crime, Mark Beaumont. We've ridden some truly epic rides, and this one is definitely gonna be added to that list. That is absolutely insane! But I think if there's ever been a hair in a tortoise race, today will be it. Oh, <laughs> that is not such a happy face now. Brian Early? Hey buddy, you ready for this? Yeah, it's not gonna be like our old epics where we actually get to support each other. No. You know, tell, tell stories. It's you versus me. We're going in opposite directions. Head to head. Head to head. 8.14 a.m., which is about 10 minutes from now. The sun is gonna pop over that horizon. 4 p.m., night, night. Uh, who can go furthest? I reckon me. Uh, let's see what tool, let's, <laughs> got, let's see what bikes we got. We got 10 minutes, baby, yeah. get ready. <laughs> the route set takes in most of my local train roads. I start here and make my way to the main roads before taking in a big descent into a local Cotswold village known as Nailsworth. The first climb starts. It's known as the W, topping out at a whopping 15%. This is going to be a first big test for me. Once the climb is conquered, it's a fast open section across the top of the common before heading back into the valley and starting the second big climb before arriving back at the start point. By the way, if you want to ride this route, you can find it in the description. Who can travel furthest? From sunrise to sunset? Mark on his endurance bike or me? Full on speed on a time trial bike. Mark Beaumont. Nice bike. It seems I've bought a gun <laughs> to a knife fight. <laughs> I've gone all out speed. Coming from a race background, I thought, well, what's the fastest bike I can get my hands on? And well, luckily, oh, I got 18. It sorted me out with this, the E118 Tri Plus. Oh. It looks fast standing still. It does. I've just never heard of an eight hour time trial. <sighs> well, now you have, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and when, when was the last time you rode a TT bike? Yeah, funny you say that. Um, uh, Back in 2013, I rode a 10K time trial at the Tour of Britain, and that was the last time. <laughs> 10K, hope you go a bit further today. <laughs> that was not yesterday. I've gone for the, the Krypton GF, the, the endurance road from Argon 18, and um, horses for courses. <laughs> Let's see what happens over the next eight hours. Yeah, comfort over speed. Right, the sun is literally starting to come up behind us. We've got about, well, 10 seconds. How far do you think you're gonna go? <sighs> Hopefully, further than you, but We'll see. What's your strategy? Um, Don't tell me, mate. We better get going. All right, are you ready? I'll tell you the, the, the strategy. I can see it right now here in the tour toys. <laughs> see you later. Right. Three, two, one. Good luck, my boy. You're going anti-clockwise. I'm going clockwise. Go, go, go. Right, Mark. This is where I see you later. Go steady, buddy. Have fun. All the best. Ciao. Cool sunrise! That is absolutely insane! One thing great about a winter ride is winter sun, I'm telling you. Best sunrises. Right, I need to put pedals to the metal. This is all on speed now. This is where I'm going to meet my mark on the main road. Here we go. Ah! I feel like I'm a fighter blade. This is basically out of the rest of the Cotswolds in the UK. Switchbacks, steep and tough. This is where I'm really going to feel it. And I already am. I feel like I'm going to be doing this climb eight times. Ah! 
It's only a beautiful winter's day. Pretty chilly start. Classic where uh, fingers and toes are a bit cold, but body's nice and snug. It's gonna be a stunner. I mean, going for our longest ride in the middle of December. It's good, you gotta give yourself an excuse to go for an adventure like this. So my tactic today is just keep it steady. I've set out, I'm gonna, gonna try and average about 30 kilometers an hour. The overall purpose of this ride is hopefully to inspire you and others to get out during the darkest months and to have some big rides, some endurance rides during the time of the year when it's hardest to do so. It'll be an interesting comparison on riders and style, nutrition and strategy, bike choice of course, but uh, fundamentally once all's done, I hope it inspires you to get out and do a big ride over the winter. It's the fast bit of the course. This is where I'm going to make the most of these aerodynamics. Tuck in through the air like a knife. I am flying. Now, I've definitely got a big head start on Mark, so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to tell you about what I am riding because we both have gone for some very different machines. I've gone for the fastest bike I could possibly get my hands on. So it's this, the Pro Level UCI Legal Argon 18 E118 Tri Plus. And look at it. I mean, this is a fighter jet. It looks fast standing still and it genuinely is. I've got SRAM Force components. I've got a 48 35 on the front and it's 12 speed so I've got a 28 10 on the back so yes what I'm saying is it's all out speed especially on those flat rows now Argon 18 say it's a much lower profile on the front which basically means more aerodynamic which equals more speed and I've also gone aerodynamic and speed on the wheel front too yes I've got zips 808 deep section wheels Ah! I mean, this just shouts speed, doesn't it? And I love it. Argon 18 say it's the significantly lower front profile and they updated the oneness system, which offers a bar and stem combination with armrest stack at two centimeters lower and a grip position four centimeters lower than before. Right now, as much as I'd like to kind of just look at it, I have actually got to get back on the bike and uh, and ride it because well, Mark Beaumont is going to continuously keep going and he probably will never stop. So, uh, yeah, no, no, no rest for the wicked. Here we go. Right. See you guys in a little bit. So I'm getting to see Hank flying around in the other direction and I have to say he's all smiles at this point. <laughs> first hour and a half. He's just such a boy racer. And it's, uh, I mean, it's safe to say he will be up on me in terms of distance so far. Um, but I think if there's ever been a hair in a tortoise race, today will be it. I expect Hank will, after a couple of hours, need to get off that bike, rest his neck, He'll have been really pushing the watt. So he'll probably be thankful for a bit of recovery as well. Get some fuel in and at that point, I'll just keep going. It's such a stunning day. If you are gonna take on a, a midwinter endurance challenge like this, you know, check the forecast. 
today's the perfect day for a daft challenge like this. The amusing thing about a crazy route like this is I'm passing the same people like once or twice an hour and I can already see on my third lap, third lap they're thinking what is he doing and the fact that it's still early in the morning and until sunset I'm going to be doing this. The rest of the world might think you're crazy but if you're having fun on the bike go nuts. I'll be interested to see what Hank's dueling strategy is. Going for a long ride like this, you know, you can wing it for the first half, but if you don't get your nutrition and your hydration right, you're really going to suffer later. I've never done such a hard ride in December in all my life. I'm normally gearing up to eat a big turkey, not attacking an epic ride. Ah. I'm starting to feel it. It's the longest ride in a while. And it has to be said, I'm probably not the fittest I've ever been. Nevertheless, I feel like I'm holding good speed. I am out of liquids though, and food. So, I might be taking a detour in a bit, and I'm looking forward to it. Let's get this detour. Here it is. I should be going down there. But I need a quick little stop. Here it is, right here. Look at that. <laughs> Could I get a flat white? Yeah. Got a sausage roll, please. Yeah. Let's go for a flapjack and a, uh, and a brownie. So I've got to say, I worked hard for this. Full gas, pedal to the metal. So this is my opportunity to relax, get my nutrition in, take it easy. Coffee, brownie, sausage roll. I can't see Mark Beaumont dining out on this, I have to say. Mm. Sorry, Mark. I hope you're enjoying your ride. Oh, I've got to say. Uh, I just can't stop too long because I can't let my, Mark Beaumont get ahead of me, so I better get a shivvy on in a second. But once I'm sat down, it's hard to get going again. Oh, it's a little bit muddy. Right, next half of the ride. Mark Beaumont, let's be having you. Get clipped in, watch out for the forklift. Here we go, I'm away. It's one o'clock, sunsets at four, and uh, just clocked over 120k and uh, 1,600 meters of climbing. So, uh, ooh, starting to bite. I'm starting to dread certain parts of the course. This is a long climb into a bit of a headwind, and the psychology of that is yeah, it hurts, it's a drag. But I also know that every time Hank turns the corner up here, he's absolutely flying down here. So I need to make it up elsewhere on the loop. With caffeine. Yes, please. Coca-Cola. I would take that over a chocolate brownie any day. Now I reckon Mark Beaumont is going to take the strategy of not stopping. He's going to continuously go round 
and round. So I'll do the honors and tell you what bike he is riding. He's gone for Argon 18's Krypton Pro. Now this bike leads Argon 18's endurance range. It's designed to be lightweight, comfortable, and agile. But this carbon machine has also got some aerodynamic influences. It's got integrated cabling up front. It's got some wide profile tubing. And it's also got clearance for around 34 mil tires, which basically means you can fit some good tires on to make it that bit more comfortable. He's got Durace DI2 there for componentry, and he's got some shallow carbon wheels, all leading towards being very light and very fast going uphill. Can an endurance bike beat something like my time trial bike? Well, we'll have to see. Yeah, I mean, uh, how's your feeling one. going? Just solid cake. I've had, I've had a bit of brownie, flat jack, <laughs> flat white. Oh, I had sausage roll. It's a bit weird just like passing you like once or twice an hour. I know, I, I, I do miss our chats. But uh, I, I don't really know how far you've gone. Like you look pretty quick when I pass you, especially on that long drag. What are you on drag. now? Um, about 80K. 80K? Yeah, yeah, about that, yeah. I went 119. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you lying? Yeah, just about 80K. No, you can see, oh, you're on more than that, I'm, I'm sure. I better go and catch up, eh? You're on more than see that. See ya! You're on more than that. Definitely on more than that. He's lying to me. Good luck! So, Mark tells me he's only on 80K. I'm not having any of it. He can't have done. He must be on par with me. So that kind of worries me. It means I've got to press on. I can't stop anymore, which I'm slightly worried about because I'm sore in all the wrong places. Anyway, I've got to crack on. Two hours left. Let's go, let's be having you. Fight to the end. Never give up. Come. He knows I was lying. He knows I've done more than 80K, but he showed his cards. He told me how far he'd gone which is useful. So like now, he's on his own, on that time trial bike, just stressing. Ah, oh, that's not such a happy face now. I'm sore, but the good thing is, I mean, it's the last hour of daylight. I can muscle my way through that. I'm digging in, but I'm feeling every pedal stroke. Well, this will be the last lap. And I'm quite looking forward to getting off the bike. I've loved it. It's been super comfortable, but that's a long old ride without getting off. Yeah, sunset in 40 minutes time. So this will be, this will be the final circuit. He looks happier. He can see the finish line. I've got hell for leather all day. And I'm looking forward to the finish. Look at that sun. See, so yeah, we've only got 10 minutes left till sunset. This is my opportunity to ride with him in. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Has it broken you? It's broken me. It's a good so, looking thing, does it go fast? It is rapid. And I've enjoyed every minute of it going fast, I have to say. What an epic ride. 
Yeah. Longest ride I've ever done in December, hands down. <laughs> nice one. Longest ride, shortest day completed. <laughs> Another one to add to our list, mate. What an unreal day. I've absolutely loved riding this thing. The speed is insane. So thank you so much, Argo18, for sending these out. And it didn't quite break you. That was my worry. Not quite, <laughs> not quite. The enjoyment oh. of the speed outweighed it. You're such a speed junkie. But I tell you what, I think there's something about this ride and quite a lot of the epics that we do, Hank, that it's the adventure element as much as the riding. It's just, it's just a, a, a bit of a crazy idea. You need to get somebody who's up for it and then you know you're gonna go through the hurt locker. You're gonna, you know you're gonna have periods where it's incredibly tough, but you know, it's always worth it. It's always, always worth it. So if this has given you the idea, why don't get out there and try a, an epic winter ride, see how far you can go during the darkest months. Now, time for the results. Okay, so Whew, 181.9, so 182K. 183.6K for me. 1.6K, 1600 <laughs> meters, I'll give you that. <laughs> but here's the interesting bit, seven hours ride time. You did seven hours ride time. So I took a slightly different strategy. I went full gas and then I had slightly longer breaks. So I did a ride time of six hours, 21 minutes and 44 seconds. So I guess that really does show this is a speed demon, isn't it? It's, it's nuts, it's absolutely nuts. And I think eight hours is a massive test for somebody who's not used to sitting in a time trial position. So hats off to you, matey. Yeah, I've got to say. That but I mean, I mean as, a, as, a, as a winter challenge, those numbers, are hugely telling. I mean, we're a very different style of riders as well. What was your average power, Hank? I averaged 200 watts, which isn't bad. Pretty impressive. What did you average? 230. Yeah, slightly more. Read into that what you will. <laughs> right, if you guys have enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to do a big challenge through the winter, then let us know in that comment section below. If you did enjoy it, give us a big thumbs up and check out some of the other epic rides that I've enjoyed with this man. Right, until next time, mate. Look forward to it. Yeah, longest day, longest ride. Shortest ride? Yeah, shortest uh, ride. We, we, we've earned a short ride. <laughs> oh, I'll take, I'll take that, I'll take that. <clears throat>